Hi guys, today I have my project use it up updates and this is my April finish results and May finish goals. This is crazy. It's already end of April and I don't know where the year went, but anyways, I didn't have a whole lot of products in my um, project last month and I didn't get to finish a whole lot of them either, which is kind of bad. But let me just show you what I have finished first. So first of all, I have this Avene Thermal Spring Water and I have finished that real quick. It's just water and I don't know what it did. Oh, and by the way, I don't think I'm going to give in-depth review of those products. I've already talked about them in my empty videos that I've already uploaded. So if you're interested in one particular item that I have finished, go ahead and go over there and I will link the video up here. I have finished two uh, face masks from my beauty diary. This is the hyaluronic acid moisturizing mask and I finished two of them and I finished this facial wipe from simple. This is the micellar makeup remover wipes and that one was pretty good and then I have finished two of the Nivea extended moisture body lotion travel size. I only kept one bottle and tossed the other one and I finished this toner from Kiehl's is the calendula toner and I didn't have much left last time. I think I only had like a little bit left last time. That was like from the month before and I was able to finish that. I finished a travel size shower gel from Bath & Body Works in the scent Honolulu Sun. I hate the scent. And I finished this hair rinse from DP Hue. It's the apple cider vinegar hair rinse. I used it as a shampoo and I don't know what it did. I hated it. And I finished this little sample size, um, what is it? It's the Visionaire Beauty Sleep Perfector Serum from Lancome. And eh, I don't think it did anything, so that's that. And then I finished this hair thing from Bumble and Bumble. It's the BB All Style Blow Dry. And then I finished my lip stick from Revlon. This is in the color uh, Cherry Tart. It's the lip butter line. So I finished that and I also finished my foundation from Rimmel. It's the Match Perfection uh, liquid foundation in the color 240 Soft Beige. And then I also have a few products that I didn't get to finish. Uh, the first one is a mask from Bliss. This is the Fabulous Skin Reviving Rubberizing Mask. So this one, I didn't use it. Usually one pack would give me like two uses and I just didn't use it at all because I usually use it when I have pretty bad breakouts and this month my skin's been pretty good so I didn't feel the need of using it but maybe I would try to use it next month. And then I have this um, night cream from Derma E. It's a hydrating night cream. I didn't have a whole lot left last time but this one lasted longer than I thought and that's all that I have left right now. So you can see, not much at all, so I think I'm gonna try to finish it this month. And then I have another daytime moisturizer from Paula's Choice. Oh my goodness, this guy, I've been trying to use it up for I think two or three months now, and it's been looking like this, like forever. It just looks like there's nothing left, but whenever I go to use it, it never has any problem giving me any products. So hopefully I can use this up this month and I mean I do really like it and I'm glad that it lasted this long and yeah I'm sure I will buy another one after this one runs out. I have this little perfume from, let me try that again, this is, I looked it up, the brand is called Bulgari I think. <laughs> I think this is the Paradise scent. This is the newest scent from them, uh, from the Omnia line, and I do really like it. I brought it with me to travel, but I just didn't end up uh, using it at all, and I think I'm not going to try to use this guy this month, though, so I'm going to take it out of my project to use it up. And then I have this hair uh, leaving conditioner from Caviar, so this one I had, um, you know, those are the previous months, and I didn't use this too much. Um, I just don't want it to weigh my hair down, and I think for that little bit, I can use it up this month. And I have this body oil from Avene. It's just 
body oil. Um, this one, this is how much I have left. When I started last month, it was pretty much full and I used quite a bit of it. I only use it on my belly to prevent stretch marks, but this one, I actually don't like it because it's very thick and hard to spread and I, I don't know, I don't like the scent either. So I'm just going to finish it and never be bothered with it. So those are all the products I have mentioned last month and I am going to add in just a few more products this month, not a whole lot, um, just because I feel like I did have quite a few left that I didn't get to finish. It's probably not wise to add too many more. So I have mainly just body products because I go through those a little bit faster. The first one is a lotion. This is from Avino Baby. It's in the scent Lavender Vanilla Calming Comfort Lotion. And I have a big size, but I probably have used like about half of it so far. Um, I do like it. It's just nothing too fantastic, I guess. Um, it's probably not worth a full price. So I probably wouldn't repurchase after finishing using this one. I have another body oil. This is from Bio Oil. Um, I also use this to just um, prevent stretch marks on my belly. So because the other oil from Avene doesn't have much left, so I think once I finish this guy, I'm gonna move on to the bio oil. But I'm not too sure if I can finish the entire thing though because I do only use it on my belly. I have two shower gels. One is a sample size from Bath & Body Works. This is in the scent Sweet Magnolia. I've already used like about half of it, so that's not going to be a problem. I do like this scent quite a bit. And then I have another shower gel from Dove. This is a Sensitive Skin Nourishing Body Wash. And this one I probably have used, I think, a third of it. Um, I'm not too sure. A lot of people like this a lot, and I think it it is kind of like on the gentle side. But also at the same time, it doesn't really bubble and I don't think I will repurchase though. So I would want to just try to use it up. And then I have a face wipe from Simple. This is just the regular cleansing facial wipes. I probably have like, I don't know, 20 something left in this pack. So that will be perfect for me to finish in this month. I had two products from SK2. I got both of them from my influencer box and I never mentioned them anywhere yet. So I guess this will be my little review. So the first one is a facial treatment essence. I just use it as a toner. And as you can see, I have used most of it already. Um, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of this guy, even though in the ingredient list, it doesn't have any alcohol, but I actually just feel that it feels like an alcohol heavy toner, even though it doesn't have alcohol in it. So I'm not sure what caused that sensation, but for that reason, I'm not a big fan and I'm not gonna repurchase for any reason. And I know those products are not cheap either. And then the other one is a face mask. It's a sheet mask. It's just facial treatment mask. Uh, looks like this. I haven't used it yet, so I'm gonna try to use that. Uh, it says it's a radiance and moisture boosting mask. So hopefully it will be good, but in general, I'm not a big fan of the brand SK2. It was always really big in Asia, and I knew it got into like a lot of scandals maybe almost like 10 years ago because they use lead in their uh, products. So that way, I think it's more efficient to make your skin look brighter. But who wants lead in their, you know, um, face products it's poisonous I don't know so I'm sure they probably have already resolved that issue but it just didn't leave a good reputation in my head so I was never a fan of the brand in general all right and then lastly I just have one more mask this is from Laneige it's a water bank soothing gel mask so it's also a sheet mask I do really enjoy this guy um, I mean I do enjoy the brand I've never tried this mask particularly and I will be really interested to give this a try. So that's everything, and I didn't get to finish a whole lot of products in my April finish results, but also I don't want to add too many more in my May finish goals because like I said, I feel I already have a lot on my plate. I just don't want to overwhelm myself too much. But let me know how you guys are doing. Thank you for watching, bye.